none of these are recommendations these are merely thoughts and ideas that are being exchanged one such company which is also doing some exemplary work i believe um, is hcl info and they don't normally talk but they made an exception this time prem kumar shishadri executive vice chairman and md of hcl info systems joins in to speak about this theme as well and good having you uh, thank you so much for joining in my simple question is what's the role that you've played in the large database projects like uid because that is something that we're talking about right now no i mean i think uh, I, let me let me uh, try and articulate that our role with respect to data uh, is not is not directly connected with some of our projects but that is something that we are doing even otherwise but just to give you a context of the work that we have been doing in the area of identity management as the managed service provider for uidi we are basically now cross almost about 950 million people who have been issued these aadhar cards and, and and a little bit more to go and maybe now we are adding a few more categories uh, as per the wish of the government but more importantly the the context here is that that many people biometric information is 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 available with the government so context that you really have to look at is the various other usages of this data is very clearly confined with what the government is doing not at the private sector level so mr prem kumar given your expertise and experience in big data projects like uid how are you sharpening the focus to get more business from building platforms and data analytics from the government as well as private enterprises yes so i mean it definitely would but it has got nothing to do with the data uh, pertaining to the projects that we did the our our independent focus is to look at it in the context of analytics leverage the kind of platforms and technologies that we have used here and translate that in terms of independently building algorithms which are which can derive benefits out of this at a private sector level uh, and it has got nothing to do with the data uh, available in any of the repositories of the government you know so data related businesses are poised for higher growth as a part of the overall tech industry how is hs hcl going to make best use of this opportunity 100% i mean you are you are you are absolutely right data and data related businesses are are distinctly on a very high growth path these are one of the key drivers of the technology industry today the point that i am trying to make we as hcli are definitely going to are involved in various aspects of this business identity management as an independent line of business a center of excellence which is focused on trying to build this as a platform using clients and client given data and analyzing them through appropriate platforms is the focus secondly to look at it in the context of real time analytics which essentially means that a large part of this data now through omni channel connect that most cor corporations are going through are essentially trying to use these on mobile devices and so on so across e uh, connect across multiple channels how do we leverage it and provide real time analytics is again a very core area of our business so digitization and internet of things opportunities are emerging to be the strongest in the pipeline uh, tell us approximately what share of business does this make up for you in particular this is really an emerging space so i i'm not going to give you numbers but i think this is the fastest growing uh, i would say internally from a pipeline point of view in terms of the broader context of digitalization as a whole rather than to pick on just uh, analytics because what you have here is one of the key sources of data is iot which is internet of things so the availability of sensors across multiple places be it in manufacturing be it be it in logistics be it in consumer consumer marketing spaces and so on i think these are sources of data and then comes in the whole context of making it available uh, across omni channels like mo mobile devices uh, uh, websites and so on and lastly also in the context of looking at building the analytics layer on top so as a whole you should look at this as a more of a digitalization business rather than look at f on one line which is just the analytics well since the uh, disruption is the name of the game in technology uh, who do you think will survive in the long run and what will it take 
the ones who will survive are the ones who disrupt themselves the most. The ones who are looking at what they have, the legacy of what they have, the baggage they carry and want to continue on that, I mean, are, are the ones who are going to be left behind the first. The ones who are saying, my business three years from now, two years from now is not going to be available. Let me look at what that business is going to look like are the ones who are going to survive. So thereby, you are going to see organizations which are, which are essentially going to be saying they have invested so much, they would like to leverage that investment and so on. And there are going to be a different types of organizations who are essentially getting down and saying that I don't think this is going, this is great, we did this, we, are not, we have to now move on. That's a good trick, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the ability to disrupt the ability to disrupt is going to define the ability to lead. Prem, really appreciate your time. And uh, once again, thank you from uh, Team Etina for making an exception to talk to us. I mean, the CL Info Management is very shy. It's only on big platforms on special days like this they talk to us. Meanwhile, Reliance.